Alright, so Asus Drug Flow Z13 tablet. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be a lot of critics in this video, so I'm looking forward to discuss every point with you in the comment section below. So, Asus released the most powerful tablet ever created. It has a lot of cool features. Actually, I'm sure they've spent a ton of time implementing each of those little details. Starting with incredible design inspired by the 20th century space race and finishing with all the latest tech inside. But my question is, does it make any sense at all? Let me explain. Asus positioned it as a gaming device, which should be able to run any game existing today. And they packed a 14 cores later generation Intel CPU, Nvidia RTX 3050 Ti graphics card, 16GB of RAM and 1TB Gen 4 SSD in the most powerful configuration. It sounds great on paper, right? It immediately makes you believe that you'll actually get all that crazy smooth gaming experience with top-of-the-notch graphics quality. But in fact, let's dive a bit deeper. First of all, the CPU's TDP is only 45 watts. It is alright for laptops, but to dispel all your false hopes, one of the weakest 12th gen CPU for full-size PC has 125 watts. Now, normally RTX 3050 Ti Mobile has a total graphics power of 75 watts, and I've tested a lot of laptops featuring this graphics card in the past. The results were solid, not top of the line of course, but they were definitely acceptable and pleasant. And here, the thing is that in Asus Rock Flow Z13, they decided to install a 40 watts configuration of 3050 Ti. It is almost twice less powerful and it is understandable, taking into account the laptop's dimensions. But ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't mean the in-game's frame rates will be twice as lower as well. Let me provide an example. Let's take two configurations of 8GB VRAM RTX 3070 and Red Dead Redemption 2 at ultra graphic settings in full HD resolution. First configuration is rocking at 80 watts TGP and a second one at 115 watts, both without a dynamic boost. With the first graphics card, we get around 63 stable FPS, and with a more powerful one, we get 73 FPS in the same game scenes. Knowing this info and rules of equality of two mathematical relations, we can easily create a proportion which will allow us to calculate average in game frame rates depending on graphics card's TGP. Of course, provided that pretty much all other specs of the graphics cards remain the same. That is, we cannot use it to compare RTX 3080 and 3050 Ti performances using this formula. Now, playing GTA 5 at ultra settings with a 75 watts configuration of RTX 3050 Ti, we get about 35 to 45 average stable frame rate, depending on what's happening in the game. And after some calculations, it's getting obvious that with 40 watts variant, we only get 19 to 24 FPS, which is not playable and not enjoyable at all. Ladies and gentlemen, of course this calculation will not 100% accurately represent how it will perform in reality, there is some measurement error for sure, but we definitely can use it to roughly predict numbers in a real world test. But ladies and gentlemen, the main point is, I want you not to be deceived that this tablet is all that powerful. Yes, it can run a ton of games comfortably, and it is actually the most powerful tablet ever created. At medium graphic settings, you will be able to enjoy even such heavy games as Cyberpunk 277 or Far Cry 6. But once again, does it all make any sense? You definitely cannot livestream games with this thing. Its screen is way too small to play comfortably, only 13.4 inches. And please don't get me wrong, it is beautiful, bright and vibrant panel with amazing color accuracy. But it is still small. Playing on such a screen device will definitely not say thank you. And also, I'm pretty sure that the price will be somewhere around 18 to 2300 US dollars for a maxed out version. And for roughly 2000 bucks, you won't be able to play AAA games at high settings. Are you kidding me? Do you still think it's worth it? If your answer is yes, then let's move on. Ladies and gentlemen, frankly speaking, the only ace in the hole that's left is the battery life. It is a tablet and it should remain portable with a long lasting battery, right? So on the official ASUS website, all they mentioned about it is the phrase all day power. Do you actually believe it? Even if they manage to achieve this metaphorical all day battery life, there is a little notice on the bottom of the page. They test battery life with screen brightness set to 150 nits and quote, other application settings. I am more than sure, it means that they set everything to battery saving mode, they turned off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and so on. 
Plus, take it into account its thickness. I don't think it will last you more than 5 to 6 hours of work from a single charge. And I'm not talking about non-stop gaming. I'm talking web browsing and chatting. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, do you think it's worth it? In my opinion, if you need a device for work, you'll obviously choose something more suitable for your needs. Maybe a Mac computer, maybe an iPad Pro if you're more into design and creative sphere. Or maybe you need something actually powerful for heavy architecture and 3D projects. Alright then, there is a ton of options for those purposes in a budget of 2000 bucks. And they will definitely be more suitable than this tablet. And if you're looking for a serious gaming device, I'm pretty sure you'll find more suitable machines in this price range as well. And now, ladies and gentlemen, my question is, who would actually buy this tablet? What is the target audience for this product? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below this video. And maybe 7-inch Nintendo Switch with OLED screen is a better option for portable gaming. There is too many questions in my head. Let's find the answers. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, my official Telegram and WhatsApp pages, Deals of the Day. I post the best Amazon offers on laptops and other electronics there. I spend a lot of time choosing worthy products with the best discounts and deals on a daily basis, so I'd really appreciate if you follow. I desperately hope I will help you to purchase the laptop you desire at the best price possible. Links are in the description box below.